Hey, do you ever get stuck in the must be seen as box? Do you ever feel like you're, you're in this place where people have to see you a certain way and you get mentally and emotionally and socially and maybe even spiritually distraught if you feel like people aren't gonna see you that way? It's a really fascinating thing and, and I use the word stuck intentionally because a lot of us get stuck there. We get going along through all these experiences in life and maybe it comes from something that happened in our childhood or our teens or as we're going on a career and we get these ideas in our head that we must be seen a certain way. And this, this whole idea comes from this amazing book called The Anatomy of Peace. And if you haven't read it or reread it recently, man, I highly recommend that book. It's so awesome. But they talk about these boxes we get into, and this is just one of the boxes that we must be seen as. And it's interesting, it comes up uh, a lot when I'm meeting people around the world and working with people, coaching clients. We just get in a space where we feel like we, we have to be seen a certain way. And it actually really undoes us. We get, <laughs> you get stressed out, you might get angry, you might get upset, you might experience fear, you might experience a lot of intense emotions. There might be uh, tears and disappointment and anxiety or depression or whatever, all tied around this, this need that we generate inside ourselves to be seen a certain way. And it might come with a title uh, this comes up a lot if you want a certain title, president of this or, you know, whatever kind of acronym or letters you have behind your name. And, and I got to be this. And, and our societies are built like that. Lots of them are right? where there's, there's a lot of honor and praise and, and glory thrown at some of these titles and some of this prestige. But it can actually get in the way it can get in the way of us really pursuing our passions and our dreams and doing what we really want to do. It's interesting how many times that comes up in life where um, I meet with people or working with people and their true passion is over here, but they can't let go of this because they don't wanna be seen as this, they wanna be seen as this. And it happens all the time. Maybe it, maybe it comes with the kind of car or the kind of house or the location or the size of your bank account or your investments or being in, in the in group, right? Um, C.S. Lewis wrote this great essay called the, I think he called it the inner ring, right? You wanna be inside the inner ring and the, the in group, right? And you're going to the right school or the right club or the right, country club or the right restaurants or the right hotels, staying in the right places. And a lot of that's just built around this being seen as box. And so I just want, and we all, we all do it at some point or another. And so I just wanted to make a, a quick video today and invite you to consider if you're stuck in that box. And if there are things in your life that you're literally being held back, because just, you're just afraid to be seen as something else or something different. I found that one of the greatest fears as I'm working with people chasing big, crazy, awesome goals. You guys remember my acronym for uh, dumb goals? It's demanding, unrealistic, meaningful, and bold. And I think everybody needs some dumb goals because it helps us stay motivated and excited and invigorated. It helps us chase down the big, big dreams and goals and objectives and successes. But the greatest fear I have found, it's not failing. It's looking like a failure. That's the greatest fear. And it stems from being stuck in that box of need to be seen as. I need to be seen as successful. I don't want to be seen as a failure. I don't want to have people seeing me make mistakes. And it keeps us from authentic parenting. It keeps us from being authentic friends. It keeps us from being extraordinary leaders because we get stuck with this need to be seen a certain way. So throw, throw in the comments, will you? And I mean, this is a safe place here. And, and, and I want to hear, like, are you stuck in a, in a need to be seen as? And let's share. Let's, this is, and the reason I'm asking is because this is super inspiring. When we share and, and we feel like, oh, yeah, I've struggled with that too. And, oh, that's fascinating. That's interesting. And, and we get some authenticity here and some sincerity of, like, where we felt like we we've need to be seen a certain way. So share it. And, and if you've used to feel a certain way, you overcome it, share that too. Let's get us in here because I think most of us are going to experience that. And it's going to come up with everything we're doing from marriage to parenting 
to finances, to friends, to knowing the right people, being in the right crowds, having the right title, the right career, having gone to the, the right, again, I'm using right, 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 right. It's all these things. And it, it's interesting how much is permeated our society. And when, when we can break free of this, and I've been working on it for years because I had a huge list, a huge list of must be seen as. And I still struggle with some. And I've, I've been working on it for years to get to this place where I can just humbly, confidently, with certainty, lean into this is who I am and this is how I want to be and this is how I want to do life. And I can live independent of the opinions of others and detached from the need to be seen in a certain way. I mean, I can still build, build a reputation and we still, uh, reputation's that, that foundation there, right? You can still build and, and cultivate a reputation where you can be known for being happy and jovial and optimistic and for being on time and getting things done and knowing what to do and, and being your best self right? and chasing greatness, all that stuff. So anyways, let's do that today, you guys. Let's do it together and get unstuck. It, it is very freeing. I can say from personal experience and from helping others, it is extremely freeing and liberating to break free from the box of needing to be seen as a certain thing. And you can do it. And you can lean into who you are and the identity you want to have and who you want to be. Love you guys. Reach upward.